High winds fueling several fires across the South Plains, leaving behind charred grass, homes, and other structures. Two people in the hospital tonight for smoke inhalation. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. I'm Brian Mudd. Dry conditions, a lot of wind, making for dangerous days like this one. Nearly every fire department on the South Plains has been very busy. KMX Ryan Chandler joins us live from West Lubbock tonight. We're in Equestrian Center, caught fire. Ryan, what's the latest there? Yeah, firefighters are still assessing the damage here at the Premier Park Equestrian Center where they tell us a mobile home behind me caught fire and those flames and these high winds quickly spread into another building. That fire now put out, but the American Red Cross is still working with three people who've been displaced, one of which was taken to the hospital with smoke inhalation. These crews have had a very busy day in and out of the city. Here's a look at all of the flames around the South Plains and a message from those fighting them. As the sun sets in a haze of smoke and dust from a fiery day across the South Plains, firefighters still dousing a blaze at an equestrian center, sending horses scattering as the wind picked up embers from a dry field and spread the fire into two structures. All the animals made it out safe. But these same conditions sparked flames in at least three other major fires in one afternoon. Evacuations in Leveland and near the Reese Center sent people fleeing from grass fires and heavy smoke, drawing volunteer fire departments from across the region. And in the middle of the city, one man sent to the hospital for smoke inhalation as flames collapsed his roof, wind carrying the embers from the backyard and into the attic, even damaging the neighbor's backyard. Fire chiefs around West Texas urging safety. When we have winds like this and things that happen today on weather conditions, in weather conditions like that, it makes it impossible for us to, to fight those structure fires. So uh, lesson learned today, I want everyone else to take this under advisement and, and, and create that defensible space around their property. If there is any reassuring news with all of these fires today, it is this. Only three people have reported injuries, all of which are expected to be okay, just treated for some minor smoke inhalation, but everybody and every animal is okay today. I got to speak with the son of the mother who lost her home in Southwest Lubbock today. He said, while they may have lost a lot of stuff, there were only two things in that house that were irreplaceable. That was the two people inside, and he's very happy that they are safe and well tonight. As are we, Ryan. Thank you. We're also watching a big wildfire burning in Rudosa, New Mexico tonight. Those folks are without power. Many have been forced to evacuate their homes and are staying inside the Rudoso Convention Center. At last word, about 150 homes have burned, along with about 15,000 acres. Those under evacuation orders include the Moon Mountain, Gabilon Canyon, Hull Road, and Paradise Canyon areas. The Red Cross helping those affected by that fire tonight.